announce at this Faculty of Education graduation ceremony. The official proceedings will begin shortly and in a moment the graduands will enter the auditorium and I shall invite you to stand. They will be followed by the academic procession and then by the official party. As the official party enters, we invite you to join the singing of the traditional graduation song, Gare Amos. Please then take your seats as the Chancellor takes his seat. If you're carrying a cell phone, please ensure it's now either turned off or made silent. And whilst you're welcome to take photos, please move back to your seat immediately after having taken them and please do not stand in the aisles. At the end of the ceremony, the Chancellor will invite the gathering to sing God Defend New Zealand. Please remain standing following the end of the anthem and as the processions leave the auditorium. Once the last graduates have left, you will also be invited to leave. Would you now please all stand?
Please be seated. Ain't a mana, ain't a rail, ain't a hoi far. Tenakota, Tenakota, Tenakota Katoa. Vice Chancellor, Pro Chancellor, Council members, members of the university, special guests, graduands, families and friends. I extend a warm welcome to this, the fifth spring graduation ceremony for 2011 of the University of Auckland. This week, the university is bestowing a total of 2,708 qualifications on some 2,450 students. At this ceremony, degrees will be conferred and diplomas awarded in the Faculty of Education, a total of 183 in person plus a further 69 in absentia. I am privileged as Chancellor to preside at spring graduation for a third year. The regularity of graduation ceremonies makes them no less special for the university and me personally than for those of you being capped here today, many for the first time. It is also a pleasure to return to the Auckland Town Hall long our traditional graduation venue for the first time since 2009. The Aotea Centre, which we now use, has been temporarily captured for Rugby World Cup purposes. Graduation is a festive event, rich in history, pomp and colour with a lively array of contemporary touches. Here in Auckland, our rich mix of cultures and ethnicities can be seen in the striking variety of dress and adornments worn by graduates. Today is one of hard-earned celebration by you, the graduates and diplomates, on your academic accomplishments, and by your family and friends who have encouraged and supported you and are here to share in your success. The university, represented by the council and academic staff members seated behind me, and those many staff who control proceedings with remarkable precision, takes equal pleasure at this hugely significant day for each and every one of you. The University of Auckland is deservedly ranked as one of the best universities in the world. Your qualifications will always serve you well, in this country and abroad, whether in qualifying you for a satisfying career or in leading to more advanced study, or simply as a route to personal and intellectual enrichment. In today's ever-changing workforce, you cannot afford to stop learning. So please keep in mind our enormous range of postgraduate opportunities. I urge you, as alumni of New Zealand's leading university, always to remember your alma mater. We depend increasingly on our graduates for support, moral and political, as well as financial. Your advocacy and influence are vital in encouraging government and the community at large to fund universities so they can generate the knowledge needed to drive a productive and competitive economy and to create full and satisfying lives for all New Zealanders. At the same time, philanthropy has become critically important to our university, funding major capital projects, scholarships and professorial chairs. The crucial contribution of major research universities is not well understood and therefore insufficiently acknowledged. It is inconceivable that a developed progressive 21st century nation can maintain that status without strong internationally recognised research-based universities such as the University of Auckland. Our innovative research is vital for long-term sustainable economic growth and social cohesion. 
never more so than in the testing economic times we face in the wake of the global recession and now the devastating Christchurch earthquakes. Universities equip graduates like you not simply for the jobs of today, but for future careers not yet imagined. Universities need greater investment by government, the commercial sector and private philanthropy, not less. But that's sufficient for me on the challenges facing this institution. For today is unquestionably your day. I congratulate you and trust that you will long cherish memories of your graduation in September 2011. Our speaker at this afternoon's ceremony is Mrs Madeleine Gunn, who has been principal of Epsom Girls Grammar School since 2008. Her strong links with the University of Auckland make her particularly welcome. Her two degrees, a Bachelor of Arts and a Master of Educational Management with First Class Honours, are from here. She also holds a Diploma in Teaching from Auckland Secondary Teachers College and a Diploma in School Management from Unitec. Before taking up her current position at Epsom Girls, Mrs Gunn held key roles at the university's school leadership centre. Earlier in her career, she taught at Rutherford High School, Glenfield College, Birkdale College, Massey High School and Diocesan School for Girls, where she spent 13 years and rose to become academic principal. Mrs Gunn has been active in such educational bodies as the Association of Girls Schools, and the Auckland Secondary Schools Principals Association. Mrs. Dunn. Tēnā koutou katoa. He mihi mea hana tēnē ke a koutou katoa. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, members of the Council, members of the University, graduands, families and friends. This is a day of celebration for you all today. Celebration for the graduates who have worked so hard to complete their qualification. Celebration for the university faculty who have taught and mentored them. And celebration for the families who have supported them through some challenging times. No one achieves these qualifications without some pain, and now is the day to recognise that it was all worthwhile. You are all graduates of the Faculty of Education. Some of you will be about to enter the teaching profession. Others will be experienced members of it who have extended your qualifications. Whatever stage you are at, and whatever sector you are involved in, this is an incredibly exciting time to be involved in education. Those of you who are involved in social work will also value the importance of education in improving the situation of people in our society. Our world is changing rapidly because of technology, and globalisation, and education plays an ever greater role in preparing students of all ages for success in it. I've recently returned from a principal's delegation to China, and I was amazed at the rate of change which can be seen there and the very high value placed on education. You know that the knowledge you have gained in your studies is just the beginning. You will go on learning and reflecting on how you will use that new knowledge. Like you, students in our schools will have to continue to learn as they adapt to new situations in every aspect of their lives. We're very fortunate in New Zealand that we have a new national curriculum which places value on knowledge but also on the competencies such as thinking and self-management which students need to continue their learning. 
Our curriculum also places emphasis on globalization and entrepreneurship, which I saw explicit examples of in China. One organization which we visited had a staff of 90, and 20 of those young people had been educated at either secondary or tertiary level in New Zealand or Australia. A very clear example to me of the value added for them in studying in an English-speaking country, and an example too of the strength of the Asia-Pacific connection. Today we know much more about how people learn and what factors are most important in maximizing achievement. The best evidence syntheses commissioned by the Ministry of Education and researched by Professor Viviane Robinson, Professor Helen Timperley, Associate Professor Graham Aiken and other faculty members you will have been taught by here at the University of Auckland have identified the factors which most benefit the learning of students, of teachers and the work of school leaders. The meta-analyses of Professor John Hattie build a story of the power of teachers and the value of their feedback to students. Your job as teachers is to be aware of the research and to use it to inform your practice in the classroom. What you do should be deliberate and reflective and aim to support all of your students to make them the confident, connected, actively involved, lifelong learners identified in our curriculum. Your focus has to be student achievement, and I believe that the most important element that underpins your success with this is the relationship you establish with each of your students. They want to know that you care about them, and care about their learning, then they will trust you and they will take the risks to make mistakes which they need to do in order to progress further in their learning. In research we've done at my school with our students, the most important factor that they identified in helping them achieve was that the teacher cares about my learning. Our education system is world class. We are fourth in the world in achievement levels for English, mathematics and science for students under 15 as measured by the OECD. Export education is the fifth highest income earner for the country, producing $2.3 billion. Our researchers are respected worldwide. We have much to be proud of, but we still have challenges to face. One of the most important tasks that you will have ahead, whether you are in education or in social work, is to engage students and to convince all of them and their families that education is crucially important for their futures. Students in many other countries, such as the Chinese students that I saw, are very aware of that. And our students will be competing with them for jobs in the future, whether those jobs are here in New Zealand or in other countries in our global village. I wish you every success in your careers ahead in what for me has been a very challenging and very satisfying profession. No reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you, Mrs. Gunn, for a
very interesting speech and some wise and uh, relevant comments and advice for our graduates of the Faculty of Education. This is a meeting of council and convocation of the university for a ceremony of conferring degrees and awarding of diplomas. At this ceremony, the pro-chancellor, Ian Parton, and I will be conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. I invite the pro-chancellor to award the diplomas and confer the degrees in the first half of this ceremony. Thank you, Chancellor. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Ian Parton, Pro-Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas stated upon those who, within the Faculty of Education, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Education, Associate Professor Aitken, to present graduands in that faculty. Pro Chancellor, as Dean, I have the honour of presenting to you the students qualified for the conferment of a degree or award of a diploma in the Faculty of Education. Graduate Diploma in Education. Tudo Allen. <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Special Education, Elizabeth Cecilia Papali. <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Teaching, Early Childhood Education, Paavono Senuefa Alatimu. Kim Leong An. <laughs> Nalini Nilam Nashi Chan. <laughs> Lynn Maria Hager. <laughs> June Violet Harding. Uka Joshi. <laughs> Davina Yusha Lau. <laughs> Georgia Elisa Meach. <laughs> Michelle Misolas Mendoza. Charity Vedamani Ungo Shubaka. <laughs> Kim Elizabeth Perry. <laughs> Angela Katrina Lean Payne. <laughs> Omarai Ariki. Charlotte Maureen Says. <laughs> Hopi Manukolita Tuputupu. <laughs> Megan. Sorry. Sha Sway. <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Teaching Primary. Emma Marie Bates. <laughs> Anna Marie Bayer. <laughs> Hannah Doris Beaumont. <laughs> Michaela Ann Bonner. Catherine Elizabeth Freighter.
Catherine Marie Lorenz. <laughs> Glenn David MacDonald. <laughs> Jane Alexandra Melling. <laughs> Paula Camelia Rossiordu. Claire Francis Rosser. <laughs> Rochelle Joy Spicer. <laughs> Mavamwe Kate Sutton. <laughs> Matawai Tapaya Hilda Fadipapa. <laughs> Megan Louise Wishart. Graduate Diploma in Teaching Secondary, Christopher Alexander Head. <laughs> Josie Ann Thompson. <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Teaching English in Schools to Speakers of Other Languages. Namala Kavinda Bandia. Shamsia Bente Muhammad Taha. <laughs> Kasuri Simon. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Education Teaching. Alicia, Alicia Kelly Ager. <laughs> Diane Elizabeth Acast. <laughs> Shinai Devona Baku. Ji <laughs> Huan Pai. Shelley Louise Brown. <laughs> Alana Ray Burgess. <laughs> Sarah Simone Burt. <laughs> James Hanare Campbell. Nastasia Anasha Rachel Catmull Robertson. <laughs> Yun Yang Cho. <laughs> Michael James Climo. <laughs> Francis Irene Corrin. Cherry Margaret Castle. <laughs> Audrey Teresa Kraft. <laughs> Ellen Richard De Beer. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Dempsey. <laughs> Larissa Jane Dobson. Leah Ann Falzone. <laughs> Amali Foa Fe'anga Ainga. <laughs> Supuni Silvana Crystal Fernando. <laughs> Eladosi Manaya Fuatanga. Crystal Amelia Gardner.
Kirsty Emma Gibson. Kogilambal Govinda. <laughs> Victoria Gray. <laughs> Doretta Jean Hall. <laughs> Kyle Robert Clinton Hattie. Thomas Tomahede Hawkins. Courtney Jane Hildreth. Lisa Margaret Holmes. Katie Nicole House. Hello, Emma, Emma, Iota. <laughs> Alexandra Augusta Hemmingson Jensen. <laughs> Antoinette Louise Jordan. <laughs> Bailey Summer Young. Rose Vane Mesepa Kohiva. <laughs> Indapri Kao. <laughs> Chloe Patricia Leper. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Josefa Joe Ledon. Chloe Patricia Leppert. <laughs> Emma Louise Lafroff. <laughs> Shona Leanne McKenzie. <laughs> Media Final Makaleo. Irene Riapi Ma. Virginia Marsden. Nassim Mejudi. <laughs> Alexandra Zenzi Melrose. <laughs> Janice Eileen Metcalf. <laughs> Akitupo Metuangaro Kayaruna. Danielle Marie Morrison. Thank you, Pro-Chancellor, for conferring the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of the ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Nick Hall, Laura Prendergast and Patricia Robertson Bickers on trumpet will now perform Fanfare for St Edmundsbury by Benjamin Britten.
when Benjamin Britten wrote that uh, piece a bit over 30 years ago, he wrote it as a fanfare specifically for three trumpets, but I do think a fanfare is entirely appropriate for a graduation ceremony. Can I ask you to show your appreciation again to Nick, to Laura and to Patricia? By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Roger France, Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diploma stated upon those who within their faculty have satisfied the requirements of this university. To the degree of Bachelor of Education Teaching, Yagita Mani Naika. <laughs> Sangeeta Nand. <laughs> Yohuna Catherine O'Brien. <laughs> Kimberly Owano. Alexandra Elaine Pennycock. <laughs> Gloriana Umufonotasi Perite. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Pickering. <laughs> Nicole Stacey Pitovich. Kylie Marie Pocklington. <laughs> Shinal Sanjana Rai. <laughs> Joanna Tracy Ralston. <laughs> Mark David Ralston. Annalise Margaret Rankin. <laughs> Vicky Marie Riley. <laughs> Hannah Ellen Rennie. <laughs> Huaba Sakaria. Livingston Sammy Samuel. <laughs> Wendy K. Scott. <laughs> Tracy Ann Simonson. <laughs> Ali Itasi Sinclair. Michelle Francis Smith. <laughs> Jasmine Medikotuku Stebbings. <laughs> Totala Tawa. <laughs> Karis Margaret Taylor. Sarai Tuilesu Tokoma. <laughs> Elizabeth Ann Tompkins. <laughs> Salah Ali Tui. <laughs> Mawa Tusa. Dominic Therese Vickstrand. (מח) 
Jenna Ann Vinnie. Carolyn Elizabeth Weisel. Samantha Michelle Walker. Emily Rose Wilson. Deborah Joy Wollstone. Agnes Gustava Wright. Marisa Yiswan Wu. Mediana Kirikofai Nga Waerere Lahere Winya. Holly Ann Yeardley. Jackie E. Sub Yoon. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Human Services, Jamie Danielle Akrama. <laughs> Nicola Amy Keyworth. <laughs> Annette Bromwood Lockwood. To the degree of Bachelor of Physical Education, Nicola Lee Abraham. <laughs> Kevin Penny Anderson. <laughs> Emma Marcel Crozier. <laughs> Gillian Mary O'Reilly. To the degree of Bachelor of Social Work, Philippa Enid Dawson. I'm sorry. Tole Fata Fako Anoa Ki Hakonoa Fako. Chris Alberta Roberta Latz Kaitu. Wainakulo Kava Kaitu and the Graduate Diploma of Teaching Primary. Makaleta Vaipolo Hiva Lika i Alamoana Fatu. Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Distinction. Deborah Lee Mitchell, University Graduate Scholar. Postgraduate Diploma in Education with Merit, Kathleen Huffle Fitokai. <laughs> Christine Pamela Hardy. <laughs> Julian Edward Matthews. <laughs> Susan Diana Muller in Counselling. Olivia Kwok Yi Ng. Deborah Susan Robinson in Special Needs Resource Teaching. Nat Chris Sao. Postgraduate Diploma in Education, Joanna Elizabeth Duncan in Counseling. Lupe Fefita. <laughs> Hayley Ann Mudford. <laughs> McEvan Gregory Gavin 
Hogan Paul. Monica Lorraine Pogampois. Lane Liata Tippi. Sinolita Tui Inu Kuafi and Counselor. Rebecca Denise Wharton. Postgraduate Diploma in Professional Supervision with Merit, Gabrielle Bernice Daly Fong. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Education, Teaching Honours with First Class Honours, Gail Denise Ledger. To the degree of Bachelor of Social Work Honours with First Class Honours, Nicola Marie Brenton. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Education with First Class Honours, Victoria Ann Bass. <laughs> Susan Mary Stewart Bachelor. Nadia Nisha Nawaz. <laughs> Kelly Ann Noonan. <laughs> Claire Diana Norton. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Education with Second Class Honours First Division, Catherine Marie Alp. Monica Ashari. <laughs> Kathleen Cope. <laughs> Joy Rosemary Hay. <laughs> Kerry Mary Kirkpatrick. Christine Beatrice O'Hara. To, to the degree of Master of Education with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Kathleen Ann Godba. To the degree of Master of Professional Studies, for Anna Sophia Campbell in Education. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor to present the doctoral graduands. Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you the doctoral graduands. To the degree of Doctor of Education, Moale Otonuku. Moale investigated the role that beliefs held by students, parents and teachers might play in the academic success of Tongan students in New Zealand secondary schools. Moale's research has contributed to an increasing pool of culturally and linguistically specific research into how to improve Tongan and Pacifica education outcomes.
Anne Janice Schofield, University Doctoral Scholar. Anne investigated the English language learning support given by teachers and peers at different types of early childhood centre to children with home languages other than English. The results are expected to provide guidance to teachers about ways to optimise the English language development of these children. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Gan Ju Seng in Education, Ju Seng investigated the effects of prompting and coaching on the quality of written feedback by peers. This research contributes to our understanding of feedback by developing a progressive view which involves the provision and interpretation of differentiated peer feedback. Kirsten Anna Locke in Education, University Doctoral Scholar. Kirsten investigated an aesthetic approach to education to explore creative pedagogical spaces that emerge through music and affect different styles of teaching and learning. And in absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or award of a diploma in the Faculty of Education. On behalf of the University, I now invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. And this would be a perfect opportunity for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who have helped them as they achieved their qualifications. This concludes this meeting of Council on Convocation of the University for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to sing the first verse of God Defend New Zealand in Māori and then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your programs. <laughs> <laughs> 